Guys, welcome back to the channel. So today we're gonna to be doing something different again because I said that in the last video. This time what we're gonna do is I'm gonna review my hate comments. It's hard to believe I have haters. I'm gonna review my hate comments between YouTube, Instagram, and TikTok. And it's gonna be live time. Haven't went on, haven't had a look. There's some things that I haven't even seen. I'm gonna go on, have a look, get a laugh. And one thing I will say is if I do, I mean, I don't know if I will, but if I do cry, don't look at me any different from what you already do, please. This is going right back to my first YouTube video, and then we'll bring it up to speed. So this is the road to pro. Oh, nice ones, go on the nice one. There's one that's actually funny, and it says, this is gonna be uncensored. I'll subscribe, fuck it, why not? Just give me more character. Fair enough. Right, first video, grand, surprisingly. Like says, get more it's, it's because sometimes I can't be doing it. No. <laughs> right, first one. First proper one. A pro what? Where's the size and shape? <laughs> one below it. TM Wilson, 71. You probably will never be pro. It's fair enough, I can't really argue with that. The, f the funny thing is that, obviously, I started out to go pro and got hurt as well there and it's changed just because of my direction in life so at the time it was a hate comment now i can't really hate on for that so this is tiktok so there's definitely more hate on tiktok put up a deadlift video and there was 98 comments and within the 98 there were, there were some nice things but there were some funny ones too so someone wrote awful form Bob David, fair enough. Uh, someone, someone within with the username of 19886 pound sign comma veg said, you should lay off the roids. Really not good for you, dude. I replied, totally agree, bro. Oh yeah, someone was um, basically saying that I'm just another bodybuilder. So you forgot the add in, 40 full dips, 23 chins. I'd like to see you post 20 dips and 12 chin-ups, which I can actually do with 18, 18 pull-ups, dips, unlimited. Hello, mate. And the weight you're lifting is with dreadful form. I could lift that when I was 82 kg. <laughs> Obviously, it's one of them ones that's user 500, whatever. This, this one's good. This was actually from Sigmund Freud. <laughs> Jesus Christ, man, check your form before you're rolling around like Stephen Hawkins. <laughs> Shout out to Stephen. <laughs> I forgot about the one. And it's actually Sigmund Freud, look. He's, he's supposed to be one of the smartest psychologists. Yeah, so I, I do this thing when I'm deadlifting, I don't know if you noticed, but my left foot, it's like a nerve thing where it sort of, my heel comes off the floor. Everyone goes mental at it. They say, that's not a rep. Sort the foot out and then actually lift the weight. It's just, I do think it's my sciatic nerve, but some people hate that, I don't know why. You're gonna pop a vertebra, building up long-term problems that will hit you as, as a young man. It's fair enough, someone's opinion. I don't know how your foot can even move like this during a lift, props. Bro is doing a Michael Jackson <laughs> mid 300 deadlift. You'd be better doing lighter weight and getting your form right first. Fair enough. You could lift so much more if you learned how to use leverage. The thing is, right? See, when it comes to the comments, I guess, I don't mind. Like, I'm not susceptible. It's not like I'm, oh, I'm not susceptible to feedback. I am, but it's hard to have trust in someone when they're nowhere near the sort of level that you're playing at. And that's not in a condescending way. That's in a factual way. It's hard to trust someone, you know, who's deadlifting like 30 or 40 percent of the weight that you're lifting but when i respond to it a lot of people crack up and say i should be more humble but in my opinion i just i just can't trust people like that i don't think there's anything wrong with it jesus made them reps are disgusting perfect example of what not to do <laughs> it's always i don't know what it is but all these comments are coming from profiles right that either look like the sausage from bloody spongebob who works in crappy potty or This guy here, it's always the anonymous ones. You'll get the odd one like this. I don't know if you can see it, can you see it? Yep. So it'll be like, 
middle emojis with thumbs down. Oh, I can't really respond to that. <laughs> I mean, it's like, what do you want me to say, mate? So I put a video on my Instagram. Someone wrote under it. Bro, take it easy on the trembolone cologne. I'm not, I'm not too sure. Well, actually, you know what? The reason why is because I was out of breath when I was speaking to the camera. It's because I was training. But same thing again. It's always a certain character of people that do this. Username, M-A-S, Maz, underscore V70. It's not a very car to me. He is always panting. <laughs> and, then, and then this here's a funny one. Want to be with you, body, with the banana. <laughs> that's not here. That's funny. Some people say that's a. It's pretty exhausting when they hear me speak because I'm sort of breath. They want to just sit me down. Didn't see this. I, I wish I had that motivation. I'm a piano teacher and I need to get exercise. But yeah, overall you get the idea. It's always the same stuff. <clears throat> and I'll be honest, there are some comments like this week. We're on Tuesday today, right? I've already deleted, if I can remember right, six comments from my Instagram because they're just ridiculous. Like, it's not even, I can take the criticism, right? But what I don't like is, it probably sounds a bit cheesy, but I don't like other people being subjected to that. And when other people see it, they message me and ask me if I'm okay. So if I can delete it just to make sure that it doesn't constantly reappear, then I'll do it. I'll always delete and block people. I never understood people that done this. Um, I was all, I always seen it as a weakness, having to block someone, that's a weakness. Why don't you just have an argument with them back? There's nothing to argue about. So, I mean, them comments weren't too bad. I would say, when it comes to DMs, I get a lot of DMs, people send a lot of crazy stuff. Um, it's always character demeaning. That's all what it is, it's always character demeaning. Um, whenever you're a bodybuilder, you're always gonna get the comments about, you know, steroids, unhealthy, gonna die, disgrace, everything like that. But overall, I don't know, I find, I before I went on YouTube, I did think that it was going to, I did think it was going to affect me, and it's part and parcel. I suppose for me, what helps me is that there's never someone who is in a better position, who's more influential than me, who I look up to, is giving me hate. It's always people and just look at it, it's always people who either aren't happy within themselves or they're living their life in fear and they hate seeing other people do what they want to do. So they will default to, I suppose, just demeaning people. And I don't mind it, I actually don't mind it. I don't look at these people and think they're bad people. There's some people that I've genuinely messaged and I've said to them, I can help you create a better mindset. And that sometimes the person seeing it is condescending and they were like, what could you do for me? But I was being genuine. So when it comes to hate comments, a lot of people, it does get a lot of people down. But for me, it's it doesn't affect my day whatsoever. And if anything, you know, if we went through life and it was all, how many are doing great, everything's amazing. It's just, you can't get one side. I expect to get the hate comments. There are some that are just spiteful and you just have to block and delete. But the other ones, like the general ones that you know you're gonna get, you just roll with them. I mean, they're funny if anything, and it does help with the algorithm.